Okay, I'll, 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 I'll give it a try. I mean, it's... It's like, I appreciate the attempt at drama. Yeah, I do. I appreciate the attempt, but it's, it's like somebody said, you know what's terrifying and dramatic? Horns. We, we should put horns on it. And they put some horns on it and then found themselves kind of unable to stop. Well, we found the headwaters we need. Unfortunately, we do require one more taproot for the mycologist. I'm not 100% sure she'll know anything useful to us, but as his literal housekeeper, she may be of some use to us when it comes to Neloth. I'm a little thirsty. I'm really going through water quite quickly. So for now, we'll uh, we'll 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 mark this down as a to be checked later. Ben Congarica. Yeah, we're going to be heading past whatever this is and recovering the bone mold formula for Glover. Maybe once we've done that, we'll just quickly check back before heading off to get the spear. Yeah. It probably won't harm us that much. Yes, there was some sort of cave or something up here, wasn't there? Yes. Not really something that... You know, I was about to say, not something that's of interest to us, but actually... It does have a bit of a Nordic... Ruin vibe, doesn't it? Which means it. Ooh. Means it could be of interest to us. Right, we are heading. Let's just. head carefully, shall we? Right. So you If there's trouble, come get me. If there's trouble, I'm going to scream very, very loudly and hope you come get me. I just That's a dragon wall, which by itself is not a huge problem, but um Oh yeah. No, that's right, didn't... Yeah, there's... Is it possible that we can get around there? I don't think so. Well, we could probably just drop off, but I'm not completely sure that's going to be too much. I mean, there's no guarantee I, that I could actually get back up. Yeah, right. It looks like to get there, I'm going to have to go all the way round... So I'm going to do that after we've... How would we get here? I actually think the only way to get here is up here. I'm going to try and go up here, but I'm, I'm anticipating an element of failure. Right. Ah, uh, I'm hearing the flat feet of the lef less than life full. It's actually quite difficult to say that, the less than life full, because I was going to... Okay, I was going to try and detect life. But I... I believe that's probably ha <gasps> 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 
I actually think detecting life might have been a wise thing to do. Because had I done so, I would not have almost just walked straight into a dragon. No, 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 no. What are you doing? What are you... Oh, because I'm nearby. Oh, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. You, come with me. Moving out. Yes, yes. We are moving out. Definitely moving out and moving on. So, very much an island with dragons. Okay. Well, we still need to get over here. I don't think this is useful. It looks like the path goes to here. Which might overlook here. We need to... We essentially need to turn here and just keep following the path for a while. Okay, that's what... Every time invisibility runs out... Yeah. Okay. It's only troll. Where, where's the path? Where's the... Where, where, where did the path go? Okay, according to the... Ah. Is this it? It would seem so. Right, so this will take us away from the dragon area and what, whatever this is going... So, oh, it's getting cold. We may have to stop and make a shelter. Is that... Is some sort of wolf? Or is it a fox? It looks like a fox. Okay, um... Yeah, I'm looking for I'm looking for a, a fire. Actually, that is what I'm looking for. I'm I'm. No. Okay, there is no fire there. All right, let's just keep going. Ooh. Another ancient Nordic ruin. But we're going up here. Okay. You're still following, yes? Oh, I see warmth. I see warmth. I see warmth. I see potential warmth. Okay, look. We'll just go find a fire. A warm up a little, yeah? I see, I see something glowing. There might be a bandit or two we have to take care of. Okay, do not take too long. Yeah, oh, right, I was wet. Oh, I should definitely... Okay, and there's a, there's a hut over there. Lot of barrows. Can't help but wonder if there's something for... Okay, okay. Hurry. Is this good enough to get warm? Can we get warm from this? Will this warm us up, do you think? Hmm? I mean, we, we, we could wander in there and see if there's an actual fire with a shelter. It's just, I don't think this is particularly sheltered. Okay, let's just, let's just peek. Let's just peek in White Ridge Barrow. It's just ordinarily, if there's a torch on it, means this. Okay, well, it usually means there's something unpleasant inside. Okay, and whatever it is, it would seem they, uh, they, they want to keep it. Are you hearing that? Are you hearing... Like... Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. I am. Um. Okay. I can't. Run. Really, I'm overloaded. All right. So. Okay. I'm sorry, but there are two gentlemen 
dead in piles of blood inside the entrance to this place, and they've obviously barricaded it so that whatever's beyond can't get to them. I understand all this. What I'm not understanding right now is why on earth there's not a conveniently placed journal explaining exactly what happened. I'm just saying that Nords seem to have this tradition of keeping journals, at least the Nords that seem destined to end in gruesome, messy and mysterious-looking deaths do. Hmm? I don't think this is actually working. I'm not feeling any warmer. All right, okay, well, we, we don't actually have any reason to be checking this place out beyond idle curiosity, and we've got plenty of other things to be idly curious about. So let's... Okay. Can you see something over there? Do those look like spiders to you? Those look distinctly spiderish to me. Now, we need to be heading up there. I think. Depends on what we want to focus on first. Oh, those are definitely spiders. Oh, those are absolutely spi- those are spiders. Whoa! Okay, that's a- that's a- Wait, did that spider jump and explode? Okay. Did that spider just jump at you and explode? I- I- it's- there's one behind you. Okay, kill it, kill it. Do it just do it, do it while it's not near us. Okay, it's rolling down the hill. Oh, there's another one. It's an albino spider. Okay, well, I'm going to... They are done. They. So this was the only one. Albino spider pod. Okay. Ooh, that's a squishy, horrible noise to be making, isn't it? Yes, it is. Why do I feel like, um... Why do I feel like something's going to... Okay. White Ridge Sanctum. What earth is this? Sapphire Geode. There's a... S Okay, ordinarily I'm not that keen on mining, but this one might have sapphires? Ten carat. Okay. Ooh. Okay, you know what? I should really be focusing on getting warm. Getting warm and getting out of here before whatever they are. Too late. Okay, alright. How the other... So they just sort of jump at you and then explode. That... That seems like an odd defensive mechanism. Okay, is it is it up here? I think it might be. No. No, 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 no. We want to go up this ridge. We want to do it quickly before we freeze. Yes? We head up here and see if we can head over to find the spear of the snow prince. Yeah. Then we will try and find this thing for Glover, which I believe is going to require us going all the way around now. Okay. This seems... Oh, it's a, it's a trap! It's a trap, Inigo! We've been... we've been ambushed! Kill it! Kill it! Kill all of them! So they ambush us, then? Oh, okay. Well, that was interesting. Right! There's another one over there! And... Oh, take your arrow for you. Right! 
so there is... Ah, oh, so they put this big pile of interesting-looking treasure, and then Reavers and idiots like us come along and think, Ooh, I wonder what this is. Hmm? Bone mo... Yeah. Wait, wait. Why is... Why is... Why is he not... Whoa, okay. Dead yet. Okay, I'm... Why? I... Did he say why? Okay, come here. Come here. Come here right now. Okay. Uh -huh. So, um... Uh, mind if I ask you something? No. Uh, yeah, mind if I ask you something? You have my full attention. Right. It's about the whole, the way you're fighting sort of thing. Let's discuss combat. Yes, combat. Yes, let us strategize. So I told you to stick to the bow, right? I, 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 your current combat I tactics. I am being aggressive. Which is fine. Aggressive is fine. And in battle, I am dealing death from a distance when I can. Yeah, no, I like, I do like that. I actually, I, I prefer that. The thing is, 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 well, right now, look, I'm not saying you're a terrible shot. I'm just saying that, that when I paralyze things and they fall down, it seems to be messing with your aim a little. Like, um, confusing you. It's probably those feline instincts. You need them to be moving, yeah? I so, am versatile. That's exactly right. You fight however you choose. Okay. Yeah. I will do what comes naturally. Excellent. Brilliant. 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 If you need anything else, just ask. I will. I will. I will. Uh, so, so just, you know, like, like if you see someone and they're rolling around on the floor doing absolutely nothing, which I understand is actually skull hat value, value four hundred. That's an oddly valuable thing. I do appreciate that if it's rolling around, it's not doing nothing. But uh, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? If it is, in fact, paralyzed on the floor, just go and stab it, yeah? Just go stab it, rather than shooting arrows all around. Ooh, look at this. Huh. Yeah? I don't feel like I'm getting colder now. Which is nice. So... Are we getting close to the peak? Like... Yeah, we need to go over this. We need to go over the peak. On the map, it... Mm, okay, 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 okay. Stay here. I will be here when you return. Right, we've got more of these little annoying blue things. Yes, and that does seem to be where Picky's Beacon and Picky's Resonator are. So, I believe that is where we're uh, we're going to be heading, and then down the hill to the Snow Prince's Spear. What I'm thinking after that is we can probably find our way down the mountain here, where we will then go back up to find Sunam. Sanamia's journal, volume two, and then go around to get the bone mold formula for Glover. Yes. Wait, am I being am I being They're shooting at you, you know. Okay, I am going. Okay, they should be fighting each other a little now. But uh, yeah, feel free to shoot them if you want. That one there, and that's a flag. Is he going to shoot his friends? Maybe. Oh, it looks like it, doesn't it? Okay, right. So. There's a Reekling Charger around here. That, I get the feeling there is, in fact, a Reekling Charger. Okay, search the Reekling Hut for... Gle mm. No. Right. Okay, I think he might be alone, so... If I paralyze him, will he fall off? Does he, Bill? Oh, he didn't fall off the mountain. That's a shame. 
That would have been somewhat efficient and sort of amusing at the same time. And that's a troll. That is a troll. That is a troll. That is a troll. Okay. Is it... Well, feel free to... You know what I just realised? I just realised I could have paralysed you and had you rolling down there. That would have been very, very bad. You know, on second thoughts, it does occur to me that it might be a good idea for me to take that power that stops me from hurting you, all things considered. Oh, 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 another one! Oh, God. Whoa. Did, did that not work? Did that not... Okay, you know what? And... What? Boar tusks. Do we need boar tusks? Okay, no, it's... It, it worries me how intimately, um... Entwined... The little blue fellow and his mount seemed to be... Alright. So. That looks like it might be a way in to somewhere. Hmm? Does it look like... It does, doesn't it? Right. And... Ooh, they collect a fair amount of money, don't they? Strange... Vessel. That looks like the underside of a ship, doesn't it? That very much looks like the underside of a ship. I'm... I'm giving serious thought to going in there. I'm not sure what I'm expecting to find. I'm just... sure I need to know. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's one down there. You can shoot him, stab him. I'm going to leave it up to you. Yep, yeah, alright. And while you're doing that, I'm... I'm going to investigate this place. Okay. Strange vessel. A... Oh! <gasps> okay. Where? This is Dwemer. This is definitely Dwemer. This is Dwemer. Forgotten Vessel's Bowels. Okay, let's just ignore the fact that it's described as the Bowels for now, and... Hmm. Jade... Dragon. Nice. Oh, where, 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 where is? Oh, I'm getting warmer though. That is, that is actually not. Okay, here we go. I'm coming back out. We need to just, just share the burden again. Okay, that's a little, that's a little better. Ah, uh, I'm going back in again. You don't seem to want to follow, though. I really do need to dump some of this stuff at some point. We, we, we really could do with... Yeah, we could do with finding somewhere to store a bunch of stuff. All right. So... Oh, God, that's more than a little disturbing. Okay. Yes. Right. Um. Hickey's Beacon! We found. This is where we find Hickey's Beacon! Whoa, okay, what was that? I, something fell on the floor. Empty wine bottle. Not that, no. Just, just, you get out of the way. You, you, you. 
No. no. Go that way. Journal. Pickies. Dwemer research notes by Miklon Picky Waltvale. Eighth of second seed. Today I finally made a breakthrough on my research into Dwemer skyships. This was a skyship. The tablets I translated from the ruins on the coast of Menevia make reference to a hidden tower, but not one over or under the land. If I'm interpreting this right, there is a rather... There is, or rather there was, an outpost hidden in the Iliac Bay somewhere. This is too good not to investigate. I'll take this proposal to my colleagues and see about proving my theory true. This could change the way we look at the Dwemer and their movements around Tamriel. 11th of Sef Second Seed. I'm writing this from the back of our expedition cart. We plan to travel to the Isle of Balfiera and from there rent a boat. I believe we'll find it somewhere between the Isle and Daggerfall. I haven't told my colleagues, but this is merely a hunch and not something I translated. 27th of Second Seed. We've been crossing back and forth across the bay for what feels like an eternity. The crew and my friends are getting very sick of this constant bad luck. At least the weather is on our side. If we don't find something soon, I won't have enough gold to keep the captain paid. 5th of Mid-Year. When we were all ready to turn back, we found something. No more than a few feet wide, but it's definitely a small platform of Dwemer origin. There's a sealed door heading down inside, too. We're throwing everything we have at it to get it open. 7th of Mid-Year. I'm writing this from inside my first major discovery. Looking around the rooms we had access to, there are many references to touching the heavens. Perhaps this tower was once taller. I think we found some kind of control room. But the boilers in this place have run dry long ago. Luckily, we had a lot of crates on board that are being broken down to relight them. I'm anxious what we might find if we can restore the lights and locks. Eighth of mid-year. What a discovery. The boiler's lit and the control room shows us a map with a number of markers on it. Could these be dormant Dwemer airships? Ninth of mid-year. Most of these possible airships are way too far into the ocean to find. I wonder if it was deliberate. There is one that might be possible. It seems to be on the Isle of Solstheim, to the north of Morrowind. I'm growing concerned about what we may have woken up in this place. Okay. As more boilers start up, I wonder what could be stirring. Many of the doors are still sealed off. Many of the following pages are stuck together. It looks like it got very wet. 13th of mid-year. They're dead, all of them. I was the only one to make it out. A booming voice and then water everywhere. I was lucky to be near the hatch when it started, but I can find... But if, if I can find this airship, maybe it'll make their sacrifices worthwhile. If not, I have part of the device that showed us the map. Holding it allowed me to see the airship on Solstheim. 29th of mid-year. It was an uneventful voyage, but I made it to Solstheim. The locals of Raven Rock warned me about leaving the safety of their walls, but I'm so close now. When I sleep here, I hear whispers. Too quiet to make anything out, but something isn't right with this place. Yeah, I know that feeling. Second of Sun's Height. I'm here. It's buried in the glacier. I assume from a crash landing. The local Reeklings didn't want to let me close, but I got past them and sealed myself on the lower deck. One of their spears grazed me. It looks to have to be just a flesh wound. I think I found the device that links to my artifact. I've taken to calling it a beacon, as that seems to be its intended function. Fourth of Sun's Height. That spear must have been poisoned or something. My wound isn't healing and I feel my strength fading. I wouldn't make it past the Reeklings again. I hear them scrapping about above me. It's so cold I can't breach the ice blocking the way to the other device. Studying it from a distance is the best I can do. I found that when I hold the beacon I have control over the airship's engines, but this is no help to me now. This ship has been crashed out in the cold for a very long time. Wait a minute! Beacons! Wasn't there a beacon in that Kagranax tower? Was it Kagranax? It was, there was a tower that we found and there was some sort of button or beacon on a platform high up. Could that have been for a Dwemer airship? Fifth of Sun's Height. 
I have to do something to keep warm. The beacon itself doesn't seem to get cold. I'm trying to tap into the power source to warm myself up. My vision is blurry and my limbs are sloppy and numb. If I don't make it, I hope one day someone will find me here and can share my discovery. I'm going to try removing the gem from the center of the beacon. It seems to be the power source. Okay. All right. Is he here somewhere? Okay. Well, where is he then? He wrote this journal here. Okay. So, where did I come in? Where I've got completely turned around. Right, that gets me back to the strange vessel. Right. You can't melt this, can you? Probably not. I mean, I suppose I could try. I can't stand doing this. Um, all right. The ice is melting, keep it up! I can! Okay! Right! Jolly good! Wizards do- Whoa! Yeah, wizards do that all the time. Okay! Picky's resonator! This was what he was talking about, whoa! This is, this is what I came here to find. That and the, the, the sextant thing. Right. Excellent. Ex All right. Can I use that for something? That is a power source for something. Right. That. I, for some reason. Oh, God, that's very disorienting. Leather boots. Hide armor. Did I miss anything here? Barkeep shoes. No, okay. Was there anything else? Right! Okay! I... Here you go. Oh, it's that I'm here. I found what we came for. Sort of. But I also found a bit more of a mystery as well. There may be some Dwemer airships around. Okay, right! So... Where are we right now? We are now, if we head down there, we will get right. That is the road that takes us back to Raven Rock without tumbling down a hill, which is my favorite way of getting to places, actually. Well, I've got plenty of favorite ways of getting to places, specifically a way that doesn't involve grievous bodily harm. However, we've almost found the main reason for coming here. Here they go. Here they go. You don't bang your head. Duck. You duck under. Get around. Climb. Yes, climb and drop. Climb and climb. Roll. Climb, roll and drop. Double roll and drop. All the rolling and all the work. Yolgir Barrow. I believe. That does seem to be. Rather a lot. Okay, that is Dwyrma. That is also Dwyrma. This seems to be Nordic. And with a name like Yolgir Barrow, I'm going to go with Nordic. Trolls? Trolls. I'm thinking trolls. Come back safe. I'm thinking trolls. Oh yeah. Definitely troll. And oh I think I see. Oh that's not a troll. That's not a troll. That's one of those snow giants, isn't it? I think.
Okay, on reflection, perhaps paralyzing it and then stabbing it with a paralysis poison was a little on the overkill side, but in, in my defense, it it's bloody enormous and mildly terrifying. But stabbing it and then... Well, the poison would paralyze it. Okay. Let's not... Wood Those are seriously freaky looking things. Okay. Draga. It's just lying here. On, on on a sort of plinth kind of thing, surrounded by candles that I'm assuming you lit. You Was I supposed to sort of walk in, introduce myself, and say, I am here to claim the spear of the snow prince? Okay. Or was I supposed to just... Okay, I am going to be completely candid with you. I was expecting slightly more... Well, screaming and chaos and work to get that. And then when I picked it up, I was expecting some sort of fanfare, some sort of... Here I come. I just climbed a mountain, walked into a cave. Granted, I killed a, 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 a an ice giant or a snow giant, and then just picked it up. And he was like, I got it, let's go home. Well, no, that's good. That's, that's, that's good. It's, it's a spear, right? It's a spear. Um... Okay, yeah. Ah. Uh, well, if there was ever a two-handed weapon I might use, a spear does strike me as what... Okay. I feel that I probably would require some training in it. I'm pretty sure that's not how you're supposed to use a spear, but I, I've always thought that if you were going to use a two-handed weapon, something very long and pointy that allows you to stab people from a distance... Well, actually, that would also classify... That that would apply to a bow as well, wouldn't it? Right, yeah, okay, anyway. Just, we got it! That's what we came for! That is what we came for! Yes, I'm, I'm waiting for whatever it is that's about to drop the other shoe on us. You know. I'm assuming there is another shoe to be dropped. Or is it... Small Septim to be dropped. Alright. Okay. Dwemer Ruins. Dwemer Ruins? Uh-huh. Reeklings, yes. Is that where we're... Right, that's where I was thinking of going. Although now... Now I'm wondering whether... See, I need to get to... I think to there. And then around. I want to get this bone mold formula before we go back to Raven Rock. Which is a shame, because Raven Rock is right... It's down there. Let's just say it's right down there would be somewhat. Okay, well, we've got Reeklings there. Oh, you know what this looks like? This looks like one of those towers you sort of exit out of once you find the elevator. Ah, do you think Solstheim has got a bunch of underground... It would seem... Is that a... That looks like a house. Okay, no, that is a house. That That's a house. Okay, then. I'm coming. Keep your hair on, then. Um... Okay. That was not what I expected. All right. Woo. Are you hearing something? An abandoned lodge. There's a, there's a tent down there. How do I know it's abandoned? 
Ah. By the cobwebs and the strange feeling that I cannot, in fact, pick the lock. How odd. How very, very odd. Okay, right, you know what, though? No, doesn't matter. Uh, so, question. Are we heading down? If we head down, we might as well... No, you know what? I, I want to get this bone mold formula for Glover, and I do need to get Sanamia's journal. So, we go to White Ridge Barrow, I think. We could check the other Dwemer ruin where the Reeklings were. See if there's a way down there. Yeah. Also, we should mark it on the map. Okay, are you not able to follow me around here? That is a funny looking barrow. Okay. For some reason, this reminds me a little of Sarthal. Uh, do not think there is an easy way down. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, that was a terrible shot. And. Ah! Probably, probably that was the way, yes. Let's have a look. Right, from the barrow, go down that side. Immune to paralyze. It's immune to pa Okay. I have a feeling I'm going to have to drop off. Okay, no, no, no. Where are you? Yes, you, you can come around this way. In a go, you can come around this way. Okay. Feel free to come around this way. Huh. Not immune to that, are you? Right. Did you say Agaru? Okay. No, no, no. Right, yeah, you fight each other. Fight, 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 fight. Not me, not me. I'm not here. I'm not. I've discovered some. Yes, shoot each other. Yes, you can shoot him too. Well done. Well done. What? No! I thought we'd agreed on the helmet. I thought we'd said no to that helmet. I'm fairly sure. We had agreed. Okay, no. Nordic goblet. Okay. Come here. I gave you that to carry. It just doesn't work. I'm just, it's not. At least not with that outfit. It just doesn't work. I don't. I'm not talking to you like that, okay? What do you need? I need you to take that off. Okay, let's do this quickly. And quietly. We'll do it quickly, but we're going to be doing it with an awful lot of noise if you keep putting it on. But I mean, you don't... Following. You don't want the... Okay. What? <sighs> yeah, um, right. I've checked the list. There's no display for bone mold, or chitin for that matter, so we don't need to worry about it. Right, we can drop those. That should make my life a little easier. Yeah. And by a little easier, I do mean a little lighter. So... I'm just picking stuff up to sell now. I really, really should stop doing that. I should focus on things that we might need to keep for the museum. Things like potions... Not really. Oh. Junax Fire and Faith. A new unread book. I like it. Lockpicks, Nordic Cup hunting, but no. See, like, like it's the value of this thing is not that much, you see. 
So I should I should really stop. Okay. Now again, I don't believe we have anything specific. I mean, there's a little side of me thinking, you know what, we might Falb farts. Really? Falb farts. I'm beginning to think that Dwemer did not in fact name any of the cities the names we keep associating with them. I, I just have this feeling that whoever decided to name all the dwarven cities was a small child or someone with an equally infantile sense of humour. <laughs> 